Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, for allowing me to take part in this very important budget discussion, which was presented by our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Conrad K. Sangma. But, however, sir, I would like to point out some points that I would like to raise from my side. And uh, point number one is that with regard to the road connect connectivity. So we are so grateful to the Honorable Chief Minister sir, for the Chief Minister Rural Connectivity Scheme, which was meant for the rural road, which is left out from the PMJSY scheme. Sir. So I'm very much thankful to the Honorable CM and also to the MDA Government One, which has done a tremendous work in my constituency with regard to the road sector, sir. This, uh, in the past five years, there are so many roads that has been constructed in my constituency. But however, sir, there are still so many roads that needs to be addressed or that needs to be sanctioned at the earliest as possible, sir. So therefore, sir, I would like to request upon the Honorable Chief Minister, there are a few more roads, uh, villages, I mean villages in my constituency, which are yet to be connected by uh, proper roads. Sir. So the name of these villages are Mobandu village, then Madan Barwai village, and also Umsa Light Road. Sir. So the, these are the three main villages which are yet to be connected by a PWD road. Sir. I mean a proper PWD road. Sir. And also, sir, I've raised the issue from time to time with regard to the construction of one Katkasla Mojem Jirikendeng road, sir. This is a very important road, sir, because it connects all the villages which is there in Block 1 area, sir. If we can construct this particular road, sir, most of the problem of the people who reside in Block 1 area will be solved with regard to the transportation, sir. As present, sir, there's only one Kacha road, which is only, I mean, possible only during winter time, sir. Come summertime, when the rainy season starts, that means this road can be used for transportation only by the big vehicle, only by the four-wheel drive vehicle only, sir. So that's why, sir, I would like to request upon the Honorable Chief Minister, and since the Honorable Deputy CM in charge PWD also is here with us today, sir. So I would like to request upon them, sir, to kindly look upon this particular road, sir. Because there are so many incidents that is happening in Block 1 area, sir. And I know if this particular <coughs> road is constructed, the people of Block 1 area will be very happy and most of the problem that they suffer with regard to the transportation, especially to carry their goods and sometimes when they face some, uh, I mean, some patient that needs to be delivered to Juai or to other part of the state, so that's why, sir, I would like to urge upon the Honorable Deputy CM also along with our Honorable Chief Minister, sir, to kindly look and pay special attention with regard to the Katkasla Mojam Jirikendeng Road, sir. And also, sir, there's one road in my constituency which need urgent attention. That is the Madan Pokse Lakasen Road, sir. Why I raise this particular road, sir, because Madan Pokse falls under West Genty Hills and Lakasen falls under East Genty Hills district, sir. These two particular villages, sir, they are just separated by one small river. So, merely about 30 to 40 meters away. But however, sir, whenever people want to travel from Madan Pokse to Lakasen, sir, they have to go all the way from Shangpung, from Pramer, till they reach this particular location, sir. So in the process, it will take minimum up to five, five hours, sir, to reach. Whereas, in reality, sir, ground reality, we are just standing on one bank and to the other bank of that river, sir. So that's why, sir, I would like to watch upon the Honorable CM along with the Deputy CM, PWD, to kindly look at this particular road, sir, the Madan Pokse Lakasen Road, because this road is very important. It will be a connecting point between the two districts in Janti Hills, sir, <coughs> that is West Janti and East Janti Hills District, sir. 
So, sir, with regard to the border infrastructure, uh, we cannot deny the fact that the previous government, MDA1, has done a lot, uh, I mean, in trying to bring the development to the Block 1 area and also along the interstate border. But however, sir, I would like to request upon the Honorable Chief Minister, sir, to kindly enhance the budget provision which was meant for the interstate border program, sir. Because even though we have been trying a lot in the past five years, but still there's a lot of thing that needs to be addressed and that needs to be done inside Block 1 area, sir. Because I've seen and have been to many of the villages, and I saw it with my own eyes, sir, that they didn't have even a proper drinking water. There's no playground. There's no school building. There's no electricity. There's no internet connection. So nothing is there inside this block one area, sir. So that's why, sir, if at least from the government side, we could increase the fund allocation, which was meant for the ISBADP, sir. So that with this fund, at least to some extent, we can help those people who reside in block one area, sir. And also, sir, when it comes to education department, we are so grateful to the government, sir, in the previous five years, MDA1. We have been sanctioned from time to time with regard to the uh, construction of new government LP school. And I think it has benefited all the 60 constituency in our state. But how are, sir? Like I've said before, there's something that needs to be, uh, that needs to be done some more, sir. So, first of all, sir, I would like to request upon the government and also to the uh, to you, sir, to the honourable chief minister, with regard to the extension of classroom for Kiang Nangba Government College, sir. We got the report from time to time, year after year, that especially in class 11, sir, the enrollment used to touch 1,200, sir, for the class 11, especially for the art section, sir. So it's very difficult for the college to manage all these 1,200 numbers of students. So that's why, sir, I would like to watch upon the government to kindly look at a uh, possibility, maybe, so that some kind of sanction to be provided to the, for the extension of Kiang Nangba Government College, especially for the 11 and 12 standards. So. Honorable Member, please wind up. You have taken eight minutes. Okay, so then, uh, just one more point, sir. I would like to request upon the Honorable Chief Minister. I think, sir, even our CM also, he remember that uh, maybe in the last two to three, two years, we have, he has been visited in my constituency. There's one program, sir, Golden Jubilee Celebration of Saolong Do Higher Secondary School, sir. So I would like to watch upon the Honorable Chief Minister, sir, to kindly take special attention with regard to the school building of this particular school, sir. Because the CM has been there, and from the village side and from my side also, from time to time I've been raising this issue, sir. So I would like to urge upon the Honorable CM to kindly look upon this matter. And sir, uh, with regard to the civil subdivision of Laskeng Block, so sir, I would like to urge the Honorable CM kindly respond, sir, with regard to the demand that it was that has been making from time to time, and that is the upgradation of Laskeng Block into a civil subdivision. You have been kind enough to give so many civil subdivisions, so many districts, so many scenarios, then why not our last game block, sir? So, sir, I would like to urge and I would like to request upon the Honorable Chief Minister, kindly, sir, look for the uh, upgradation of last game block into a civil submission. With this few submission, sir, I would like to thank you once again for giving me this opportunity, and I resume my seat. Thank you, sir. Thank you. May I request Honorable Member Lakman Rambuy to take the floor. Master Deputy Speaker, sir, first of all, I would like to thank our Honorable Chief Minister for presenting this budget, which is in line with the aspiration of the people, in line with the aspiration of the youth, in line with the aspiration of all sector, section of the population. So, we have seen that 
the strong foundation which being laid by the MDA one is being carried forward, not only carried forward, strengthened for the benefit of the people of the state. That's why I totally agree with the Honorable Chief Minister who termed this budget as the people's budget. So, uh, we have seen that many sectors have been touched by in this budget. One very important sector which is the youth empowerment. I'm very glad that the government has speak so much and have the roadmap to empower the youth of our state. So this is a welcome step, sir. And number two, sir, uh, as the MLA of 7 Amlarem constituency, I'm very glad that many subdivisions have been upgraded to the district. I didn't ask for the subdivision, Amrem subdivision to be upgraded to the district, but Amrem is the oldest civil subdivision in the state, being established in 1976. So most of its counterpart have been upgraded to the district. The what I want to ask is that to develop the Amrem subdivision, the Amrem the headquarters of the Amrem subdivision, Amrem into a beautiful town. Because Amrem is not only Amrem subdivision, it is also a center of tourist attraction. And Amrem, with the growing population and growing economic activities, it deserves to have the facilities as one of as the oldest subdivision in the district. The very important thing which we have to have, sir, so despite of being since 1976, do it have is. Uh, office complex, but it needs a new RMCP complex, the subdivisional complex, because as of now, since 1976 till date, do MDC election counting is being done in Amrem subdivision in Amrem, but for the MLA, it could not be done because the office itself could not meet the criteria for the election commission to conduct even the counting of votes for the LA election in Amrem. So the, there is a need for administrative complex at Amlarem to meet the needs of the people. And number two, Amlarem is in the tri-junction of the Amlarem subdivision, whether the east, the west, the north, and the central, it's in fact quadrilateral. Four junctions have been in Amlarem. So we urgently need the ring road for Amlarem uh, town. So because this will ease the congestion in that junction, not only ease the the congestion, it also is expand the village, the headquarter into other part of the area with the help of this ring road. And number three, sir, yes, we have the stadium, we have the internal, uh, the indoor stadium in Amrem. What we need, sir, is the stadium is need to be, uh, have the astro top in that stadium so that the people of the subdivision could have their uh, use that facilities for their own benefit. As you know, sir, that many of the sports person, especially in the football, are coming from the part of the Wardangtia, which is in Amrem subdivision. And number four, sir, water supply. Yes, Amrem has been covered by JJM. But sir, this is not only the problem of Amrem, it is a problem also of the different village of different part of the state that the JJM could not cover the whole uh, area. So we need, the AMRM headquarter need the augmentation from the state scheme so that uh, it could cut the water to the need of the people. And moreover, sir, yes, JJM, we have seen that the, the policy is that to give the water to all the household. But sir, village is expand every year. Who will take care of different villages in the state which are expand. So they should have the master plan for not only for Amram, for, for the part of the state so that as and when the town or the village expand, the need of people could be catered. And number three, uh, five, sir, uh, which I want to request is that 
in Amnarem, sir, I'm very happy that the government in Mandiwan has sanctioned many schemes on the tourism. And tourism has a lot of potential in the solution, not only potential, but we have seen that it will raise the economic develop, uh, uh, condition of the people. So we have so many tourist attractions. We have to develop more so that the people of the state, uh, uh, the subdivision, and the people of the other part of the country, when they come to visit the state, they will have the facilities and also they could reach in time. And regarding the state, sir, uh, what we need, sir, is that we have to have the proper landfill, sir, all over the states. This is the problem which faced yesterday, today, and we will aggregate, aggregate more in the future, sir. So I request the government to look into the facilities, not only for the Shlong and Jwai and Tura, we have to look also at the different town in the different part of the state so that the problem of sewage management, the problem of waste management could be cutted so that the people living in the vicinity of, the, of that area should not have the problem. And last, sir, uh, but not the least, is the problem faced by the hawkers in different parts of the state. So we have seen that we have developed a town, we expand the road, but road become a place to sell their goods or waste. And I'm afraid, sir, new township, new Shlong township, what will happen to it if the government does not have a master plan to help the, this low-income group to have their own economic activities? So that how we could balance the economic life of the people, the livelihood of the people, and also the development of the state. And last, sir, uh, I'm very happy that the government of India and the government of Meghalaya that we have got the permission to start the BA, uh, Fourier Integrated BA course in Kyangnongba Government College. What is the need now? The result of the class 12 is coming in the next few weeks, coming out, and everything is in place. So we need to start the course, sir. And the course, so the need of the order now is that to prepare the the criteria for admission into this four years integrated course to prepare for the future of this. So this is the need of the all. So last but not the least, sir. Uh, last, sir. Uh, last, sir. Uh, we know that the government of India have uh, recognized three blocks as the aspirational block. One is your block, sir, Rizbel Para, and uh, Umling block, and Amrem block. So I request the government to earmark some fund in convergence with the central scheme to develop these three blocks so that, uh, as per mandate by Honorable Prime Minister, so that this block also could be developed as the model block for a different part of the state. With this word, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And thank you, Honorable Chief Minister, for the beautiful uh, budget which you present to the people of Meghalaya. Thank you very much.